Oh good, let me see how I did. Amazing. <laughs>Uh, midway, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of fearing for their, for their fortunes in, in the next couple of years. I hope, they, I hope they make it. You know, I really hope they find success. So this is Midway Arcade Treasures Two, and I am Matt my Muscles, your greasy content lord. So what's our first game? APB, not the other APB. This is the other, other APB. Oh, okay, that button does that. So there's gonna be a couple of midway games in this collection that i've never played and this this would definitely be one of them so we play as some type of villainous force that kind of do whatever they want with uh complete impunity this was an act of political violence see this kind of kind of seems like a dark game how the hell does this control you know sometimes you get wacky uh wacky arcade setups where they have like a wheel or or you know <laughs> Bowser a little that was that was a little much okay let's let's try that again and and figure out what that because it's not all right that's the siren good stuff all right that was nice work apparently he's he's picking stuff out of his teeth or he's doing the chef fingers I don't know what that is aim at litter bugs litter bugs those those are the criminals that were it's just people having fun in the car man watch out those pigs are gonna stop us from littering i don't even see them littering should we wait for them to actually do something before we arrest so i'm basically directing my siren into their car and that and i knock them off the road and i guess i'm ticketing them i hope i'm ticketing them yeah i just saw a ticket flash up uh, what too many demerits i'm fired oh come on cops have to do way worse stuff than this to get fired okay this is day two quota i need to murder i mean ticket eight litter bugs if this is the crimes that this that this fictional city, whatever it takes place in, if this is the big issue, then you guys got bigger issues. All right, all right, ticket, you ticket. All right, three, three more. Tickets, please. Is there a time limit? I'm trying to look all around the screen. There's a lot of stuff that I'm supposed to take. Uh, there's gas too. I'm playing Ghostbusters. Okay, for extra time, drive car through donut shop. Okay, that this makes sense. All right, no, we're out of time. For oh, I'm lousy. I didn't eat the quota of donuts. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna beat the second level of of APB. I know we have to start off small, you know, in, in terms of an arcade game, like you know something that's not too uh, strenuous, and work our way up to like larger crimes. Oh, I don't know, like giant mega corporations doing really unscrupulous stuff. Uh, maybe, maybe I can't solve that in my squad car. You know, that seemed like the more pressing matter. But maybe, uh, just as a B cop, that's that's not his job. I suppose. I guess. I'm, I'm out of time again. I don't know. I don't know. I'll take that. I'll take that W. I mean, I'll take that L. I guess that was an L. The sound effects, though. I guess they're supposed to be horns. I, I, I don't know. Big B-17 bomber like vibe coming off the sound clips from this, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like I've had enough of APB. What do you, what do you guys think? Hmm, let me make that decision for you. Sorry, what was that? I have no idea what he said. Let's move on, All right? Arch Rivals, the, the prequel to NBA Jam, of course. Arch Rivals, no harm, no foul. But you harm people in this, and I don't think there's fouls. Okay, Brawl State versus Natural. <laughs> okay. Established. All right, Chicago, usually a pretty pretty good team, historically, in, in basketball. I have no idea nowadays. I, you couldn't even pay me enough to know anything about what's going on in the NBA. Sometimes I don't know which button does which thing. So we got Vinny, Hammer, Moose, Reggie, what? Where's Archie? Mohawk, Blade, and Lewis. 
What a motley crew. I'll take Vinny. He's my guy. I don't know. Vinny, Vinny. He's a man. He can't do it. No one can. So I think I played this once, the NES version back in the day, because I like the box art. Box art seemed fun. Vinny, Vinny. Ah, oh, she's having a great time. She loves the arch rivals. Players may position themselves off screen. Okay. That's good to know. Holy shit, this is exactly like NBA Jam, really. Even the feel. I mean, the animation's a little lacking, but I, I think this, like, you know, NBA Jam was made by some of the same designers. I, sh I should reread NBA Jam the book again. Classic read. But I think this is like, this did pretty well. And then Midway were all like, why don't we just get the NBA license for this shit? Oh, and all the players should light themselves on fire or something? Yeah, that sounds good. I will take the advantage, or my teammate will take the advantage. Let's go! Alright. All right, seven to two, we're doing okay. Uh. Yeah, yeah, defense, but you know, my, my best defense is, is, is a really good offense. Oh! Everyone got destroyed there. I feel like for a game of this magnitude between Chicago and Natural High, or Brawl State, or, or, or the Wildcats, um, that the stands are unusually empty. There's what, like 50 people in this whole arena? It's a little depressing. Huh? Wait, 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 what? It's voodoo magic. God, this music is so Genesis. Three-pointer, are we gonna do it? No, we're not. It's too risky. Never do a three-pointer, kids. What if you miss it? Everyone will make fun of you. Trying doesn't matter when you always fail. Such a weird shot. Everyone's just kind of standing there, behaving themselves. <laughs> no one's yelling, no one's getting passionate about the game. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, video timeout? Do I have to put more quarters in? It's not even, the first quarter's not even done yet. That's weird. All right, well, certain more quarters can do. There's still like a minute 30 left. Jeez, guys. Midway is just sucking my quarters down. I do like that little dog. There's that bulldog on that side of the screen. I, I like the cut of his jib. Uh, can we get can we get him on the court, the bulldog? I mean, there's no rule that dogs can't compete. Uh, uh, pa I'm open. I wasn't really open. Oh my god, I, <laughs> I fell down after the dunk. Can't even dunk right. What did you learn in back in dunking school? Oh my god. They're up by a point. I'm not sure if I'm playing this whole game though. I'm gonna be honest. I I, I don't know if if any of y'all can put up with my uh, knowledge or lack thereof of of the sports games. It's limited at at it's limited at best. Yeah. See, with that encouragement, how could I not win? If I, if I have enough points at the end of this, I'll consider this a win. I do. Well, that guy's got problems. Love how he's teaching us how to play basketball in his, in his tips. And I'm starting to think my players need advantages. I'm, I'm down by like three points. Like we need like a cannon in our chest. Oh my God, again. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. A cannon in my chest or I need multiple spider legs. Or something, multiple sneakers. I think that would help. Oh, I hate that. I hate when the other team scores the points. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No, no. Yo, you can't do this to me in front of the home crowd. Okay, if I if I don't make this shot, then I consider myself a massive loser. Massive loser confirmed. Okay. Halftime. Yeah, the dog and the ladies, they're doing it. I think we should move on, don't you? Championship sprint. Someone's exploding in the background. That's concerning. All right, blue card. Just let, let's just start off nice and easy, shall we? All right, how does this control? Oh my God, it's one of these. Okay. Whoa, whoa. I'm blue card, just to let you know, in case that wasn't clear with that huge fuck up. Now we can do this, we can do this. Kind of style on all of them. You'll definitely see that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> God. Again, I imagine this most likely used a wheel and not an Xbox 360 D-pad. Think that makes for a difference. Yeah, see, I wanna I want them to feel get overconfident. I got oh. That was the last lap. It's fine. My guy looks worried. That's fair. I, I would be too if I was me. <laughs> I like these graphics. Kinda wish the game looked like this. Are right, gonna prepare to race? My dude gave a thumbs up. 
ready to go this time. I'm be deadly serious this time. Ooh. Oh, I see what they're doing. The track. Very tricksy. What's that weird point thing? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, I see there's a little uh, a shortcut, I guess. That's what that looked like it was going to be. I see some tire tracks indicating such a shortcut. Ow. If I get on a straightaway, I'm good. It's turning. That's the issue. Now I'm stuck inside the battle cage. Oh, God. Oh, my. That means I... What? <laughs> I'm dead! And he's fine, folks! He'll continue to race! Ugh, I don't know. I don't know about... Was this hard driving? Championship sprint. I don't know. I'm not good at sprinting. I don't know if a second uh, round of that will be any better. So again, uh, why don't we move on to the next game? Alright, so this Welcome is... Cyberball. Well, this is Welcome to Cyberball. I don't know what that was. Some sort of futuristic robot voice. I don't know, I missed the B-17 bomber. So it's Cyberball 2072. I like any game that places itself that far into the future, so it's not embarrassing too fast. 2015? You mean we're in the future? Oh, it's football. But with a little bit more cyber in it. Okay, kind of reminds me of uh, Base w Base Wars. Who am I even? Am I even playing? I guess I am. I'm, I'm red? I'm the California Crush. And we're fighting the Tokyo Flash. What if I play the XFL but with robots? Ooh, okay. So it's simple to understand. It's a little NFL blitz like. Where's Clown Post? Clown Post, my favorite play. Okay, okay. We're good. No, we're bad. That was bad. Ball status, cool. Y yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's why not? I will pass there. I'll try my damnedest. Just, yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I think I did it. I like how I have some of my players are just fridges on treads. I, I, I guess that's good for like a linebacker, you know. But what? Uh, 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 oh, I'm just a forklift. You can't fuck with this. Yeah. All right. Should I go for the extra points? The ball status is critical. What, does the ball gonna explode? The game has not taught me about the ball status system. Perhaps. Maybe I missed it. It's a critical ball. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Yeah. I wish my robots would like grind each other in in, in the end zone dance. You know. All right. Can we? That's fine. Strong even. I love how the game's like, you are on defense, just so I know. I I need the reminder, to be fair. The drop, the defuse line. So is there a system where we get it past the, you know, whatever line that we have to get it, the thing that you have to do in football? Oh my god. That you have to do in football, and if you don't do it, it's not like just a rule, and it goes over to the other team. It literally explodes and kills one of my players. That's cool, I think. LB Blitz. Gonna do the LB blitz. -na 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 oh, please don't get it. Yeah, it did explode, I think. All right, I'm up by w one football point. This booping sound is that, I don't know what that is, but I love how not annoying it is. I guess it's the clock. No, it's not the clock. I thought it was a clock. I, maybe it's like the game attempting to have music. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Cyroball! Multiball! <laughs> That'd be sick. There is multiball. Maybe I should just go for the. No, I have to do run plays each time, huh? Not really sure. I'm not sure how to just do the, the kicking bit of football. All right, it was good. We're good. We're kicking ass. Again, I don't think I'm gonna be around here for the whole game. Uh, there's like. 25 other games to play in this collection so I, th I think we get how football and other sports be not sure if there's a point in investigating more ball status is hot we got 28 seconds left i don't know what i'm gonna do but i know i'm gonna do it uh, stop him no did i stop him it's fine i think yeah yeah, yeah. i'm up by like half so we'll consider this a win. I lost the basketball, but I sure as hell won't lose the cyber ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool. I won! Big W for Matthew. I don't want to play with you.
with you anymore. All right, this is Gauntlet, classic Gauntlet. Wow, some of those faces though. They're not even looking at the monster really. The barbarian and the wizard certainly aren't. I love how it's a classic wizard too with the with the stars and the moon <laughs> on his on his jacket. Uh, we're gonna probably mostly likely be taking the 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 barbarian or warrior, I should say. Welcome, red warrior. Welcome, Red Warrior. It's been a long time uh, since I've played a classic Gauntlet. I think I the last time I played was, uh, like, I don't know, Gauntlet 2 on the NES? Because I am a, I'm a late 90s Gauntlet fan of, like, Dark Legacy and the other one that I always forget. Hell, I don't even mind Seven Sorrows ever. Oh, Jesus! Just ghosts. Collect Magic Potion. Gotcha, gotcha. Just ghosts. Let's just leave. I don't want to fight ghosts, the warrior says. Go away. It's too scary. I just throwing axes at the ghost. At least tell me I have some type of spectral weapon. I don't remember it being the silent either, huh? It's like no music at all, weirdly. I'm not going to touch these like pee stains on the ground. I don't know what they do to me, but I'd rather not find out. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, avoid force fields. A player loses some health. That's fine. I'm gonna- I'm gonna lose some health. Gotta get rid of this- this- this generator. Wait, what the- Shoot or fight lobbers! I thought that's lobsters. I was like, that's weird. That's a weird enemy. Jesus, you guys! Why are they able to shoot over? I guess they're lobbing it. That's probably why. Die! Monsters? God, it takes two shots. Damn. Oh, those look like beholders up there. What is- what are those? Not a fan. Huh? How strong are they? Okay, sure to fight demons. Okay, they're just straight up demons. Kind of look like beholders though, so I was I was a little worried. Anybody coming for me? Yeah, there's some there's some dudes. At least they're simple minded. They're just going in one direction, regardless if there's a wall in front of me. I guess that's what grunts grunts be what grunts do. Oh, get get rid of you. I do have the key, I believe. So I just get the treasure. Just just you know, gotta be sure. Uh, fight hand to hand. I'd rather not fight. You are now it. What? Food. That was just alcohol, but I'll I'll eat it, I guess. Huh? Okay, slimes. You know, the, the most dangerous of all uh, fantasy creatures. Oh, jeez. God, am I playing vampire survivors now? Please go away. Everyone stop bullying warrior. Dungeons and Dragons, only in theaters. Oh, no, I'm taking so much damage. I think I'm just going to peace out at the end of this level. And it's, it's only going to get harder from here. I mean, technically I have infinite quarters, but I mean, how many levels are there in the original gauntlet? Probably like 80,000. I'm worried about it. Get away, get away. Warrior does not want to be bullied. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Avoid acid puddles. Okay, real acid. They're not even slimes. They're just puddles of sentient acid. That's so scary. Where's the exit? Oh my god, it's down there. I think I have to destroy a bunch of generators before I can even approach getting into that exit. I just have to clear everyone out. Get away, acidic pools of nothing. I realize this is a gauntlet too. It's not even gauntlet one. Jeez, I hate to play the first gauntlet. Are we good? Are we good? Just, uh, it's fine. Can I just leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that was too much gauntlet for me. I could not survive the gauntlet, but let's see if I can survive hard driving. Man, I sure hope this is going to be easy. Uh, it is a revolutionary driving simulation combining an accurate, uh-oh, an accurate model of race car handling, oh no, with true 3D graphics and force feedback controls. You can't get closer to the thrill of real racing without a fireproof suit. Why would we need a fireproof suit? Why are you saying that? Oh my god. Look at this. What year was this? To me, like, Virtua Racing was, like, the first 3D, like, real 3D racing game. Does this pre-outdate it? All right. Well, let's see how accurate this is. If I crash and my car lights on fire, then I'm going to say it's pretty damn accurate. Okay, I'll just go over here. Huh, there's a speed track and a stunt track. I like the sounds of my tires ripping rubber ass all over the place i'm going here i don't know the other guys are going that Ooh, direction i just my my need for speed told me this way oh 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 yeah so i did that really cool stunt to style on him you see so i see a counter kind of down which is not good i'm not sure there's like checkpoints and such wow look at this bridge though that's an impressive 3D bridge. I've never heard of, I think I've heard of the title Hard Driving before. I've never seen this cabinet. 
again not sure uh, on the year on this one depending on what year this is like you know it would be shocking it's like oh this was like midway's ninth big 1990 oh no racing game okay let me see how i did amazing <laughs> At least my assassin got what was coming to him. Wow, I have to start up the engines again and everything. Oh, it was hard driving. Hey, you know, they promised me an easy time with this. I did not get that. Am I even gonna finish the race? Nope, no, I didn't. See, but it's not really about the racing or your driving acumen or how good you are. It's, it's really, when you get down to it, it's all about family. All right, next we have cosmic i didn't actually see what this said i just i just picked it i think it's cosmic oh all right it's like a four-way shooter so we're just it's basically a space invaders it it seems like i'm killing a lot of yodas yeah are yodas the bad guy why is that main spaceship so 3d and advanced looking like it's strangely impressive bonus cru cruiser all right, so this shoots a laser, and it that does something. I guess I don't want to... Maybe it's a tractor beam? And I probably don't want to get near that. It seems like I just don't need to get hit. So it's not like Space Invaders in the sense that if they reach the bottom of the screen, who cares? I think... Oh, Jesus, what, why am I a nebula? What's, what's happening? Or what is that nebula? I actually got... My eyes got mixed up because my, my dude looks a lot like all the enemies. So yeah, I want to stay away from that nebula, I guess. Oh my god. I, whatever this this game's name is. Is this an arcade treasure? Mm, I don't know. Please enter your name. Uh, I don't know if I want to. Alright, so. From whatever that last game was called, I don't know. We're moving on to something a little bit more well-known. Uh, this, is, this is Liu Kang. He violently murdered a, an old man that was just trying to host a martial arts competition. And uh, that, that said old man had to go back to his boss and be like, Please, baby, you gotta give me another chance. Look how hot Shao Kahn is. Like, goddamn. You know? Fucking daddy right there. J Hunter's favorite Mortal Kombat game. I know this about him. Is there any title screen that's better than this? It's so cool. How about Raiden? So I've played a lot of Mortal Kombat Mugen, so it's going to be weird to go back to this. And this arcade difficulty, I'd hate to see how hard this is going to actually be. Oh my god, already. I don't know how these ports, because we still don't have really good modern ports of classic Mortal Kombat. You know, those that HD collection from a million years ago was terrible. Uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of issues with that. This fe definitely feels a little laggy. I can only imagine why. It's a PS2 emulating an arcade ROM and I'm emulating that. So, I, I, I it, it does definitely feels like there's a delay. But graphics and sound and everything else like that seems on point. So I do remember one fatality with Raid and guess what kids? I'm not gonna remember a lot of fatalities in this. And I can't, I can't just do, so I'm gonna hold down my button right here. Get Baraka, come to me, and then, yeah. All 60 of Baraka's legs splayed out for everyone to see. Reptile, huh? Strangely enough, I'm not sure if I ever talked about in this video, but most of my Mortal Kombat 2 experience comes from playing the Genesis version. And that was not by choice. Um, I did not have a Super Nintendo or any 16-bit system at the time Mortal Kombat 2 had come out on home consoles. It got a little bit later, like late 1994, the Donkey Kong Country, uh, like super deck that came with the Super Nintendo. So I have to go to a friend's house who had it on his Genesis. And that's where we'd spend like all night trying to do the fatalities, stuff like that. And he had the six button controller too, which really, really obviously helped out. When I finally got my Super Nintendo, you know, I, I, I was already familiar enough with the game to play and as a kid, I didn't remember there being huge differences between each version of the game. Super Nintendo one obviously looked and sounded a little better, but they're both just as hard. Probably not as hard as this. Ah, uh, oh, I got him. 
Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually think I'd get him, so I didn't charge up the fatality. I, God, his his elect electrocution one. It's like hold the button, like down down forward forward, then let go of the button, then like jam on the buttons to. Oh my God, Jax! I, I'm not. I'm not beating Jax. You gotta put some respect on Major Briggs. Don't don't make fun of him. That he used to be overweight. He don't like that at all. No. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Yeah. yeah. Didn't actually think I'd get him there. Bum, 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 bum. It's actually one of my favorite stages in MK2 as well. Jax, though, you need to play nice. Please play nice. Why did Ed Boon program you this way? <laughs> Damn it! Come on! The AI in this game is absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. But yeah, that's Mortal Kombat 2. It's impossible. I don't think anyone's ever actually been it. Like, you know, the, the AI on, on, on the arcade. Um, I, I believe so. I believe the Mortal Kombat team programmed it so that no one could do it. And they, they sh mission accomplished. Good stuff, guys. All right. So the other, the other Mortal Kombat game that was included in this collection is Mortal Kombat 3. Mortal Kombat 1 is not included on here, oddly enough. I think it was either in Midway Arcade Treasures 1, or it wasn't included at all, or I think it might have even been included in another version of Midway Arcade Treasures 2, the PC version or something like that. I used to say this at school all the time, there's no knowledge that is not power, and everyone would be like, shut up. Like, yeah, that's fair. Like, what is that? What do you quote? And I'm like, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, of course you did. Matthew, go 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 back into your dork corner corner dork. I'd be like, okay. For centuries, Earth has used Mortal Kombat to defend itself against Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, but Kahn becomes frustrated by failed attempts. <laughs> he enacts a plan which began ten thousand years ago. I never really got this story. The the bit I didn't get is is this bit coming up. D during this time, Khan had a queen. Her name was Sindel, and her young death was unexpected. Khan's shadow priest, led by Shang Tsung, make it so Sindel's spirit would someday be reborn. Like, what is what are the mechanics of that magic? Like, how is that allowed? Hail science! And what type of spell do you have that's like, oh, we'll, we'll just make it so that she can be reborn on Earth? Why don't you just do that to anybody? Anybody that dies. Shao Kahn himself, or like a jobber, like there's a tar cotton. A tar cotton will job themselves out for this. All right, so I'm kind of feeling maybe Night Wolf. I don't know why. I mean, I'd, I'd go for Scorpion. In an enemy MK3. And again, for that, oh Jesus, that's a bad start. Again, for that dispute that the Mortal Kombat 2 actors had with Midway, wanting more royalties, which they should get. Absolutely. Uh, when it became as big as it did, Mortal Kombat, like, you know, Mortal Kombat 2 to 3 at least, their franchise was at its apex. I am not at my apex of my Mortal Kombat skills here because Sindel's already tearing my shit up. But they absolutely should have gotten paid for that, paid more. And now we'll just rehire another martial artist, John Turk from Chicago. And then those poor Mortal Kombat original actors have to be in Thea Realm Fighters. And the other one, a Bloodstorm or whatever. Ah, but I think I was even more hyped for Mortal Kombat 3 than, than Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, then I actually played it and I was like, it's it's good, it's fine, but it wasn't really... You know, even though it had all these new things in it, obviously. Uh, running, auto combos, a bunch of different fatalities, a bunch of crazy new characters. It just, there's, no one can really explain it, but it's just like, it just didn't hit as hard. Oh, unlike Sindel. It just didn't hit as hard as Mortal Kombat 2. And there's no, not really a real explanation to, in my head as to why, you know? All right, I'll take Liu Kang, we'll just spam shit. That is my plan. Expect the plan to go off the rails. I think maybe a bit of it, at least for me, is like the move into city streets and, and the earth realm. Backgrounds just look less exciting, less visually interesting than, you know, uh, the, the Deadpool or or the living forest. And it kind of made it a bit more contemporary at the same time, like a bit, a bit, I wouldn't say lamer. Just it didn't, like the backgrounds and setting didn't feel as Mortal Kombat as uh, to me. Like there was a big step up from Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 2 and more fancy costumes and more elaborate stages and stuff. But going back to Earth, there's like so many stages like the bank. Cool. Yeah. Look at that finish on my dead. I mean, there, there's some exceptions. Soul Chamber here, really sick stage. 
Like they remade this stage in MK9. Like that's a that's a, they knew it was that damn good. All right, so against Mustard here, I don't know if I'm winning. Maybe I got a 66 three thirds chance of winning against Cyrax of Mortal Kombat 3. Throw away the plan. Uh, uh, damn it. Good stuff. He he read that. He read that super hard. Oh my god. Come on, come on. No, not at all. Gotta have to switch up characters again. All right. Yeah, we're t we're taking Glacier from WCW here. Good old Frosty Balls. Yeah, uh, what? How do you not get frozen? I mean, Franzen. How do you not get Franzen? Let's try to figure out some combos. I think that's kind of my issue, or one of my issues. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Did you see my gambit? Did you see my strategy there? It was very solid. Whoa! That's such a great throw. Just hoisting you, hoying you from your belt. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Classic low punch combo. No one can screw with it. Not really sure what happened there. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, now I get the full combo. Nice. Oh, God. Jax again. I'm back, bitches. Did you miss me, bitches? He's he's the skill check. I am terrified. Uh, okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. We take that. Oh, ho, ho. not sure if I can do a full combo off that. I think he's too low to the ground. Oh, my God. I'm trying to bait him into uppercuts. He has not taken it. Jesus. All right. It's not undoable, but it's 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 there. Again, we can't we can't try a full Mortal Kombat run, I don't think. I don't think it's realistic given how many more games in this collection, but we'll see if we can at least beat Jax here. I got him I got him here, but if we can't beat him in this entire match, I, I think I think we'll move on. Because there's still other fighting games, and I think the next one in the list, uh, specifically, is is one I'm really looking forward to, so I do wanna get in on that. Can I close it out? No, he, he knows. He knows all about it. He's seen it. Oh, okay. Well, that, you know, that kind of settles that. That's that's Mortal Kombat 3. They should do like an updated version of Mortal Kombat 3 with like more characters and more moves and stuff. That'd be sick. <laughs> Go see the movie, kids, in theaters now. All right. So this, <laughs> this is just one of the weirdest demo crawls ever. I don't know why it's like made for children, although this game is absolutely not made for children. Although actually it kind of is, because it has a very strong anti-drug message. Okay, so this is Narc. It is absolutely insane. And no one likes a Narc. Gotta kill all these dudes. I'm I'm Hitman or Max Power. I forget. I walk like this. I shoot like that. Gotta collect all the drugs. That's Narc. My first exposure to Narc is probably similar to a lot of people's. You were watching the Ninja Turtles, the first Ninja Turtles movie, and you saw the super cool, fun youth center that Shredder set up. Literally did more to help the city than anyone in New York City did. He fills his arcade. He knows. He knows what the kids want to play. So he fills his arcade up with, with Narc. And you see two kids blasting away at the final boss, Mr. Big. And me, as a child baby, looked at that and said, What is that game? And then I would rent the NES version. I never was not even remotely allowed in arcades at, at this time. In 1990, absolutely not. Big no-no from my parents, which is fair. Uh, so... I see that, I'm like, well, I, I gotta play that somehow. Then I saw it in my local video store uh, to rent the NES version, of course. I need to go back and look at that version again because I played the crap out of it, but obviously it did not look like this. Oh, we're in California, confirmed, nice. I, I didn't actually know that. I thought it was just a fictional city. So we have the key, this should be level exit. Nope, not yet, not yet, not yet. So violent. But it's, it's, we're getting rid of the drugs. We don't like the drugs here. And these are the drug pe peddler people that love the drugs. And we hate that. There's a lot of them too. That's a lot of brown uh, trench coats. Way too many, I'd say. Oh, wait, is this end? Yeah. Okay, no, I'm Max Force. Hitman's, Hitman currently has the day off today. He gets to take it easy. Hypo man. Just something like Brian Bosworth. What's that Brian Bosworth action movie from like the mid 90s or like early? Oh my God, that's a lot of needles in my legs. Uh, like st it was like Cold Stone or, or Stone Cold. It was literally called. He was just like a dorky biker action hero and a super lame. 
but I begged my parents to rent that for me one time and they did. I don't remember much about it. But I think I saw ads in comic books. So you don't have to shoot every single person, anyone that knows anything about NARC. So you can also, that's so many needles. How are you guys so good at throwing needles? They're going straight into my like, softest, most vulnerable areas. Oh, yeah, yeah, can't let those fuckers go to space. How do the drug lords, like the low level drug guys, how, the guys in the trench coats, how are they affording a chopper? All right, here's the crack stop. I wonder what they sell there. Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh, okay. Are these pumping me with so many drugs? And Max Force just shrugs that shit off. Well, he needs to put a continue in. Max Force just shrugs. I hope the dogs aren't soon. You're, we're in the crack lab. All drugs made in their super colorful uh, candy vats. So yeah, you can't actually kill the dogs, so they explode into smaller baby dogs. I don't understand. If you didn't want to shoot, shoot, let the player shoot the dogs, don't put the dogs in the game. All right, we'll get that. We I gotta get rid of the the drug vats that are making all this Kool Aid. Since we're down at the Kool Aid factory, I do have the blue key card. We'll try to kill a few more drug lords before we go in there. Is that it? Just get rid of it. I'll pick up the baggies. Oh, uh, here come the, the the king dogs. Now turn into little princes. Like, do the dogs, are they aware of what they're contributing to? The illegal drug trade? Do they know? Or are they just going along for the ride? 2,000 sandwich baggies. I busted three dudes. <laughs> He's a PCP addict. Oh yeah, I think this is the stage. There it is, the big dumb car. I can think of few things that are like more 90s than early 90s than this. Or late, or was it late 80s? This could be late 80s, it's like 1988, actually. But, but, but we're just playing as biker from Hotline Miami, obviously a couple of years beforehand, and we're just blowing away drugs because the FBI wanted to put a big uh, sticker or like video snippet at the start, say, hey kids, if you, if you, en if you enjoy recreational drugs, that we're gonna send max force and like the man hit. I against you. All right. Marijuana's bad. <laughs> it's so dumb. I feel like this franchise has a lot of lore and like potential behind it. Maybe we should absolutely, you know, do a big reboot of this game and put in a bunch of crazy mechanics in it. That would sell like cakes that are hot. What the? No, absolutely no clowns. Send in the clowns. So I don't have like a particular thing against clowns. Like I don't have like that actual phobia of them. That's not a real thing. Are they inherently creepy? Yes. But to me, it's the same amount of creepy as anyone in a scary costume that would hang outside your house or whatever. Like it doesn't scare me more than an equally as, as scary character, right? But clowns are also jerks just generally i think there's a certain jerkiness to them where they're like you know uh pulling stunts on you or 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 you know throwing pies in your face which is inherently shitty to do it's hard to get pie out but then you throw drug clowns into the mix and then your chances of surviving drastic go down. I don't know what California's doing, just dumping all these dumpsters out, no one taking the trash away. What is this, Paris? Busted, 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 so many busted. Oh my God. Uh, see, fortunately my, my, my car can outrun a chopper every time. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't, I, my, my finger already hurts from blasting the, uh, the shooting button. So why don't we destroy this chopper and then I'll call it a day on NARC. Oh, I saw a poor body fly away. Yeah, we're good. We're good. How much, how much drugs did I bust? Sending all these baggies of cocaine to the big house. No, Kinky Pinky, I'm not dealing with you. What the? That's not Kinky Pinky. Who's that guy? It's just Dynamite Bynamite. Gyromite? What rhymes with dynamite? Anyway, yeah. Uh, I think that's okay for NARC. It's still really fun, but holy shit is it mindless, but I mean, it's 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 narc. What, what were you gonna expect, really? Speaking of mindless, yeah! Always a very heavy, heavy worst fighting game uh, challenger. There's Buzz, he's got the bod. Gary Stridum! Wow! Uh, let me clarify that uh, the, um, 
uh, Super Nintendo, or the, generally the ports of Pit Fighter, people want me to play. Oh, there's that guy from that Mortal Kombat new, uh, that Mortal Kombat Mugen I played. Not Mugen, I should say, uh, Open Beats of Rage. So Buzz, Ty, and Kato. Okay. I might, I might go to the Kato route. I think it might be more balanced. So I think I rented this once or twice on the Super Nintendo ever. Obviously don't have super good memories of it. And, and already big, big uh, violence fight. I might be wrong on this, but I think I did read somewhere, read somewhere that it's a very close. Oh my God. There's a very close competition to Wish game, which fully released game used digitized graphics the first. And I think it's between this and possibly I was totally studly. Did you see my stud, Lee? All right, get Southside Jim. Which I feel bad. I feel like this guy's just trying to make a paycheck. Like, he's he just showed up in sweats. Like, he's just here to job out. Uh, but yeah, there's a Japanese uh, game. Maybe a fighting game. I'm not sure w what it is, genre-wise. That I read might be in competition. to actually be in the first digitized uh, video game. I'll have to look that up. This is definitely Midway's first. And then there's Guardians of the Hood, which was released uh, slightly before this. Slightly after this, sorry, of course. Well, why would I say before? Already, we can see that the uh, 101 fighty genre was not uh, was not locked in yet. This does predate Street Fighter 2, so I can't really blame them. That was a record KO time. Kato feels good about that. Like, can you imagine convincing these people? Yeah, crowd around me and cheer while, okay grudge matches. I think I need to get knockdowns. Okay, my grudge match is against myself, which is some deep shit. Hey everyone, crowd around me and cheer me on. So while you do that, someone put a bunch of money underneath this uh, forklift and I'll stand above it. Above my earnings. No one take my earnings though that are just on the floor. Please don't do that. A lot of weapons. I got a power pill. I'm not on the juice, it's just a power pill. It is giving me natural power. You get it in the uh, biological section at the, at the supermarket. I know there's special moves. I know there's some type of inputs you can do. But when you go hands-on with Pit Fighter, I, I feel like you don't need to do them. I did something there was brutal. I got a brutality bonus. CCKK slider, apparently. All right, it's a it's a biker Michael liker. Like like Am I dead? Oh no! Don't bow! I wasn't even facing him. Why would I put myself at such a disadvantage? That's nuts, dude. Leave me alone, biker Michael liker. Did I combo? Are there combos? Are there setups? Has Desk done a video? On, on Pit Fighter. Let me know in the comments if Desk has made that. I, I currently cannot look that up. Because I'm busy in the sweaty throes of Pit Fighting. Can I close it out or is he gonna, is he gonna knock me out? I'm dead. Oh, that's so mean! Why is he so mean to me? Alright, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good for Pit Fighter. I think I experienced more than enough of its gameplay. Alright, I'm feeling that rage, are you? You know, I, I'm always, I'm always feeling it constantly. It's, it's very primal. So this is version 2.3 of Primal Rage. The definitive version of Primal Rage is actually on Midway Arcade Collections, Arcade Treasures 2. Now, I already played this on the main Map and Muscles channel not even too long ago. It's a good video. You should check it out. So I think we'll do a, a truncated version of this. Take my boy Sauron. We're gonna rage. Why is this the definitive version? Uh, you may ask because it is basically using the Japanese uh, code for move inputs. They're they're much more standard Street Fighter esque inputs for like because original Primal Rage very much did not have that. Um, it was one of those things that the dev team kind of fought over. Uh, while well, I beat up on, on Vertigo here uh, on a recent episode of Triple KO that we did, uh, Chris Tang who worked on. Uh, Primal Rage uh, 1 and 2 and even worked on Street Fighter 3 a little bit as a translator uh, he he piped in too because we gave a big love to Primal Rage 2 and Galloping Ghost 
and he confirmed that like yeah he was he was fighting for street fighter command inputs for special moves and the other dev the other members of the dev team were like well no we want to be different like we want to have something we just want to be the same thing as every other game damn it okay there's another round there's another round again distracted talking too much so so uh yeah they they fought again they fought amongst themselves about it and and the regular uh the the originally intended weirder command imp inputs of holding down buttons and doing motions and letting them go one out but when they started testing this game in japan japanese players were like absolutely not so they kind of relented and they said oh okay okay we'll, we'll just do street fighter <laughs> inputs and that's what this version is based on on midway arcade treasures too so good stuff <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, okay, Blizzard next. I've been fighting a little bit through through a couple of other characters. No cheese. Please, no cheese. There's all these fun things, like uh, uh, Ketchup uh, did an amazing video on Primal Rage, talking to Primal Rage, like, tournament veterans and, and the communities the communities of ragers out there. And there's so many more mechanics to this game than you'd think of. I know very few of them. I know special moves. That's about it. But there's a bunch of crazy ahead of its time mechanics. The fact that it even has a stun meter is like amazing. And and just a lot of stuff. Like the I why Primal Rage is not back in some form, either remasters, uh, uh why why Warner Brothers has not done a new collection of old Midway games. That was total domination. Complete domination. That's the fatality I know. Except it's not a fatality, but that's that's what it, it is what it is. So yeah, Midway just doesn't want to do anything with all these franchises it has. Oh, we conquered so much of the earth. Hey, make sure replenish your health before the final battle. Oh, right. So if you eat as many, oh, I got to find the red button here. If you eat as many uh, followers as you can, you get extra health for the boss fight. And I think as we talked about in, in the previous video of Primal Rage I did, they did not have enough time for a boss fight. A final proper boss fight. They had a puppet made, I believe, Necrosan. They weren't able to get it get Necrosan done in time. Uh, so that was originally going to be, be maybe like a Super Turbo version of Primal Rage uh, for like a future uh, board update. And they said, ah, oh, screw it. No, let's let's just make a full on sequel. So that's where Necrosan was. You see, there's this amazing stage. So since there is no final boss, just fight every single regular enemy again only in one round but still it's really cool that their bodies pile up though that's sick and they get turned into to skeleton warriors but like even like a victory is like a fatality because their hearts explode oh my god sword versus sword finally we will know i'm the last person i would have suspected but yeah sword's my favorite character in general i mean i also like blizzard as well talon's fine uh, even Diablo. I don't really care for Chaos or Vertigo. Uh, Vertigo. Yeah, Vertigo. Don't Chaos, Vertigo, or um, Armadon. Arm Armageddon? Armageddon? I forget his name. I already beat him. I already beat him. I don't even know his name. So yeah, the, the, the fact that we don't have a dinosaur fighting game in 2023 is, is, is very horrible. <laughs> to me there should definitely be uh you know, you know like uh, just an indie fighter on steam i will fund this i would let me know in the comments if you like dinosaurs and are a good programmer and you know all this stuff i will help i hope monetarily i hope uh, uh with 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 builds producing whatever you do oh god stealth farts oh shit damn you chaos we're here to kill chaos maybe i can ask chris tang for help maybe maybe he can that'd be super sick yeah primal rage no well, it wouldn't be called primal rage because i'm sure warner brothers will be pissed that someone did something with the franchise they do nothing with so what would we call it what are, what are your names for illegally distinct primal rage god it's such a good name when you say it like that just primal rage they really nailed that fucking name um carnivore carnage <laughs> That's terrible. Primal Urge? Ooh. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Blizzard thought he got the drop on me. Absolutely not. So, so yeah, any other names? Let me know in the comments. The winner will 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 get a, a shout out. <laughs> if 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 our legally distinct dinosaur uh giant monster fighting game comes to fruition. Wow. <laughs> and then after that. 
No, I'm the master. Where's the dreams that I've been after? So it's really not fun to be Sauron's like like little little crew. They're they're all those hype people because he just wants to eat them. Sauron's the god of hunger. When released from his sleep of ages by the catastrophe, he soon realizes he must devour human flesh to remain immortal. The hungry hordes of humanity worshipped him, but lived in dread fear of his presence. Many humans sought uh, refuge with other rulers of the planet. Sauron, no choice, no choice, but to defeat the others in order to feast on their followers. Now that he has devoured most of the land, he sets off in quest of new lands and new meals. Look what you made me do! I'm hungry. Look what you made Sora do. You didn't want to do this. What an idiot. I better eat everyone. Well, then you're not going to be able to eat anyone in the future, moron. Like, you know, be the master of your own urges. Think about it more than zero. Ah! Excellent. WB, get your shit together, please. I want dinosaurs to come back. I feel like our time is done, yeah. Yeah, I feel I feel like we're all thinking that. Bring the dinos and the giant apes back, please. It would be a nice change of pace. Speaking of giant monsters, <laughs> this is Rampage World Tour. This character is way too sexy. I it's it's crazy. And the scientist girl is cute too. I, I was talking about Lizzie and George and Ralph. So there is an explosion at Scum Labs. And, uh, Rampage! So, so yeah, I, I played one of these again, not even that long ago on the Mammoth Muscles channel, so... I think, I think we'll smash and or bash things a little bit. But, uh, you know, you've seen one Rampage, as fun as they are, you've seen one Rampage level, you, you kind of seen them all. The, the great thing about this particular game is much more than the original, like, eight, late 80s version, there's so many more things you can just do. Just moves, like, your butt is involved in many of them, which is always a good sign for a video game, but uh, the, the, the sheer options that you have in destroying buildings is huge. Why there's no Rampage collection is a huge, like, missed opportunity. Just put these out. Rampage collection. Like, Capcom's been doing really well with, with retro collections. They probably don't cost a lot to make. But they, but they're quite good, and there's all these other companies that are just sitting on this shit, just doing nothing with it. You know, not even aside from Capcom, uh, Konami's been even doing okay with collections. What with the uh, Ninja Turtles Cowabunga collection, it's just sitting there. Well, again, Warner Brothers has this IP. They put out that terrible uh, Rampage arcade game based on the movie that was more of like a ticket machine or whatever. That 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 shite got more power, which is so, like, remember kids, there's, like, no reason not to get more power if you can get it. It's always grab it. <laughs> if it's just lying there. If it's inside a building, just grab it, you know? Uh, uh, I'm feeling okay. Just, just humping this building to death. Oh, I can't let that guy escape. I'll, I'll, I'll try to kill, oh, damn it, he already escaped. That was busy. Uh. And that dude was just sitting, just sitting in the park. Sure probably had a, a big surprise waiting for him. I'm not even that tall compared to the people. I'm like, what, 25 feet tall? In this game, not, not in real life. In this game, you're like 25 feet tall. Can't get Bukake completely destroyed. You got local flavor bonus. All right, I, th I think we're going, I think we're going international. I'm Mr. Worldwide. Bonus stages, there's no reason not to have any bonus stage in any of your games. I don't care. Yeah, we're going to Tokyo. We wake up in Tokyo. That's how we do. So the only th difference between this and, and all the other cities that there's that there's like one or two accoutrements, but that's it. It's the same sort of buildings, whatever. This doesn't look like an accurate depiction of Tokyo to me. I'm just saying. I mean, they have the, the, the Tokyo Jetpack Force. They're in full swing. It seems like a huge waste of money to just give a bunch of jetpacks to the randos, but, you know, I don't know. I, um, I think it's like a brief vacation in Tokyo, and then we unfortunately have to head back to the U.S. after this. Boing. I think it was on TV not too long, and on TV, but like, whatever, it was in a, it was in a hotel a little while ago. The, the last 25 minutes of the Rampage movie are, is on. I think the last, like, the last 25 minutes is good. It's fun. The, the preceding hour or so before that, not, not so good. It was, it was alright, you know. It's still so bizarre that it exists. When I heard they're making a Rampage movie, I'm like, that's not coming out. There's no way. Oh my god, it's the Punisher mech? Frank, what are you doing here? I am the Punisher! 
Come right here. I'm just a little naked man. No, now I'm an ape again. That didn't work. How am I supposed to beat this dude? Ah, do I throw things at him? I'm not. Okay, I no. He's. I'm. I'm good. I'm just, Jesus. Why would you? Was she stuck in a dryer? How, why can't she get herself free? Sorry, what? Oh yes. This is that crazy weird. So d despite, you know, you being an ape or a giant lizard, it's like at, at, at our core, we're all purple goblins. You know, we're all weird gargoyle creatures inside. That's what they say. That's what going goblin mode is or gargoyle mode. It was the age. It was the age of gargoyles. <laughs> I could throw fireballs out of her mouth. Good stuff. Okay, Osaka totally destroyed. Let's move on. That guy's ugly. All right, this is Spy Hunter 4. Four. There were f there were, there are four numbers there. So the Spy Hunter I know best is like the first PS2 GameCube one. I never really like fucked with with the original arcade ones. I don't know much about them. Escort the courier safely to all mobile weapon units. God, it's so embarrassing that they were making a Spy Hunter movie again with with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I sorry, Rock the Dwayne Johnson. Careful, careful, and then. They got so far into the process that they made a game based on the movie that never even got started to be filmed. Like, how does that happen? Is that a what happened? I think that might be. Like, how does that occur? Jesus, how did that occur? Careful! I have no idea how to play this. If the Spy Hunter is so great, how come I get killed in like two shots? And my bullets only go half- OW! Uh, shift gears when rams high, earns weapons by entering van, use radar to locate other vehicles. There's a lot going on. And this is one of those bizarre arcade games where they're like, Hey, we, let's, let's have the screen cut in twain for reasons we can't explain. <laughs> Why? Just let me see the full screen. What is... You're just throwing tips at me and the logo. Is that really worth it, Bally Midway, is it? And I sound like a, a Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels! Beat that! I, I have to kill a Grease Ball and a Lane Hog and a Molotov Maniac? Or is it like the, the rankings I get based on my points? Jesus. What are even those? Game over. Good shooting. W was it? Was it good shooting? It wasn't good shooting, so let's move on to... Timber! How the hell did Midway not get sued for Mario here? Okay. Ow. All right, I'm learning the, the mechanics. Don't stand in front of a tree that's about to fall. What are my buttons? Uh... Oh, okay, I see. The left and right are chopping left and right. This has to be from like the same dev team that made uh, Tapper. It's gotta be, right? I think it's the same bonhomme monsieur here. Congratulations, player one. You finished with time to spare. Here's here's a measly tip. Dude, you might want to look into why your lawn just, just spurts trees out and like that's you could probably make more money by, I, I don't know, giving this to science. There's pink flamingos running around. What, what environment are we in? Are you in Maine now, boy? And there's angry birds. Like, can you imagine how angry you really have to be to throw a beehive at, at people? And to be fair, if the bear was really wanted to stop this, he'd eat my face off instead of getting the bees to do the work. What, the bears that shoot the bees at you? And look. Like, I win again. This is super easy. All right, I'm gonna be the master of the log rolling. We're gonna do this shit. What the? Uh, oh, okay. Maybe not. Okay, let's move on. All right, now we know what time it is. You see this Midway logo, you know shit's about to get serious. Yeah! Not to be confused with Contra. So, like, what, this is the sequel to Smash TV? After the War of 19... <laughs> Reporters swarmed into the war zone soon after hundreds of reporters and other civilians are missing. What the? There's a lot going on here. That was Candy Blitzer. She's being censored. Meanwhile, back in military HQ, slow down. Intelligence confirms American citizens are being held hostage. They're looking at a video game. Is that supposed to be a real GPS map? And in the doomsday squad. Don't send them in! Blast of the enemy forces to find General Akba. Destroy unknown life forms. Rescue new... Get out of the way of the objective, sir! So, I think I played this once, the Super Nintendo version. Uh, wrong button. Once the Super Nintendo version, but I was more or less a, a Smash TV fan, so I don't have... Stop. I'm pressing start, but it's just making this pop up. Okay. 
We're good. Password required. Holy shit. Ooh, speed <laughs> shoes. They make you go faster and make you do a Three Stooges voice. That's that's very Ed Boon to me. Did Ed, did Ed work on this? He must have. A total carnage. It, it very much has carded, carnage, totally. Um, but I've never been the biggest fans of these, like, scrolling shooters like this. There's so many. The only one I really remember playing a lot and really enjoying was, like, um, uh, uh, Project Jackal. Whatever, Jackal on the NES. Jesus, that was violent. Jackal on the NES. And that you were a tr truck, obviously. But you had a super good soundtrack. And, and you know, it, it makes your blood boil. That That's my scrolling shooter game. I have no problem with these. Just this, Akari Warriors and such. I don't know. They just didn't grab me that much as a kid. No, no real reason as to why. Collecting 220 keys allows you to go into the pleasure domes. Now, I don't know if that's if that the US government has that set up as a reward for the Doomsday Squad to partake in uh, upon the collection of 220 keys. It's a very precise number. I want to get this Nerf gun. Okay, it's just the machine gun from Contra. Like, this is a this is a super... Like, Contra's already kind of American, even though it was made in Japan. But this feels like an even more American version of it. Of, like, a bonus stage from Contra. Dude, there's a spread gun. Can't beat it. Okay, well, I thought that was, like, a guy wearing a pink hoodie driving that... That tank. <laughs> That's crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. You all still have my bug. Okay, I'm gonna go for total carnage. The mother of all battles can wait. I'm gonna collect all these flags. Instant warps appear throughout the game. They warp you to a new area and a free man. After you clear the area, you will warp right back to where you started. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll just collect whatever the hell that's at. I can't even see it. It's just flags? Oh my god. It's, it's like this is a video game. You know, I, I know everything we've played today is technically a video, but this is the actual. What am I supposed to do here? Big stuff bonus. I like how there's only like a couple of different people in the world. Guy in green jumpsuit, lady in bikini, and uh, Eva from MGS3. And you know, it, it begs the question, when, when are we getting a home version of the grid, Ed? When are we getting it? We follow each other on Twitter. You post about the grid like once per day, but th but we get no grid ever. How did that not get a Dreamcast port at the very least? I need to I need to ask Ed one of these days. Uh, how come no grid port ever? People that don't know what I'm talking about the grid was obviously an unported uh, arcade game, and it played a lot like a new 3D version of Smash TV. Let's say. I think Sub-Zero and Scorpion were in it as like unlockable characters and it was super sick. It was basically like a third person multiplayer deathmatch, like a little unreal-ish. But it was kind of like, you know, what was that game, Monday Night Combat? It's basically that. And the last time I played that, the grid was in, it was in Galloping Ghost. I think they had a four four cab setup. Super rare. I don't I even know what I'm doing half the time in this. I just disarmed a bomb just by walking into it. That you must be really good on the bomb squad to do that. Yeah! Blue flames. That's that's how you know flames are hot. When they're blue, it's fucked. There's it's so hot. I love it! Oh, I love it! What is is that a quote from like a naked gun movie? It sounded like Leslie Nielsen, uh, R.I.P. What is this? Exit the area? Okay, I guess. We could have disarmed it. You didn't give me a chance to try. What are these boner noises? All right, look at how many reporters and, and bikini girls are here. I saved so many of them. Checkpoint! Should, should have the uh, Cruising USA checkpoint noise there. What can you do? So I have a little orbiting buddy. I don't quite know what he does. Maybe it takes a hit for me. Not sure. We, we shall see. If he sticks around. I have 37 keys of the 220. You are the weasel man. What is happening? I need 220 keys to get into. The, I don't. I don't think we're making it into the pleasure dome today, kids. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. So no head. So there's this huge plumes of fire, and these dudes are like, eh, we can. We can take it. We can walk through that. Ooh, gentlemen, that SOB General Akboob just sent this message. Oh my god. 
Pursue me and you shall swim in pools of your own blood. Swim in them. Okay. Wow, this, this is 92, this game, huh? Sure, sure feels like it. What's this devil head? Oh, hence for beating Orcus. Shoot off arm guns first, then blow off upper arm stumps. Lob grenades into his eyes. Pummel his upper head. Bombs. Thanks for giving me boss tips. If I recall, this is some big, weird, dun, dumb green demon, like on treads. What are these creatures? Are they Jinjos? What are they? What an unintimidating enemy. Like, they killed me. The Teletubbies? I heard you were talking shit about me. What the f Okay, meet Orcus, the mother of all boss monsters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is something out of Berserk. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess, I guess we'll just pummel him with all of our weapons until he dies. Anything that flashes is good. That means damage. I think that's that's selling upselling this a little too much. This is the mother of all boss monsters. <sighs> I don't know, like, by 92, maybe? If you if you said it by, like, I don't know, 2010, I'd be like, no, just in terms of scale, God of War games, Resident Evil games, they probably had monsters that are more boss monstery than this, I think. But for 92, maybe. Maybe they do have a point. Was Conjure through the Alien Wars, I think that was also in 92? I think 93 is a little bit too late. Mm, I don't know. It's still very boastful, very cocksure of, of Midway here. Okay, the, that's a really big explosion. Too big for me to actually see anything. All right, one arm down. We got another big ass dumb, dumb arm gun. Let's get rid of that. This is already more ammo I've pumped into like anything I've ever seen. Okay, he, he chomped me a little bit. That's fine. I deserve that. What is he shooting? Tongues? Yes, he was. What an attack. How desperate can you be? Big stuff. I got big stuff, folks. Wait, wait, I forgot. The other tip was shoot the stumps. We are now on hour two of fighting this boss. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's fine. I got to get to his stumps. There you go. Stump number two gone. Eliminated. What else takes damage? I think I have to throw grenades in his eyes. Do I even have grenades? I don't know. I'm just going to light him up with my blue flames. It's like, dude, give it up. You're shooting your, your tongues at me? That's your attack. That's what you resorted to, huh? Yeah, it's just it's, it's the tongue. With the tongue lashing again. I just, now I just find this weird Modoc thing. Okay, he's taking a little bit of face blood. He's got color. All right, all right, just this. Please take damage. Okay, many eyeballs. Probably too many. I don't know why you have the Jesus Christ. Again with the eyeballs. Why? Why so many? How? Dude, just give it up. It's really sad now. Now I feel bad. Now I feel like I'm be I'm beating up on you. It's not cool. Oh. Like I'm starting to take take pity. I'm feeling I'm feeling bad during this. His head's exploding into more heads? Like now I feel bad. Forget what I said before. Now it's pathetic. Like remember uh Orca or whatever? I have infinite continues essentially. I'm not gonna be using all of them. Okay, is this it? Is, no, we're still going, folks. We're in triple overtime. We're done when I say we're done. Like, it, his head is hollow now. What are we even fighting? Like, the concept of the boss? Okay, we're good. There can't be more. The sprite is splitting apart. Please stop. I can't, I, there can't be more than that. Yeah. Oh, I love it! <laughs> okay, what do you have to say, General whatever? Oh, I, I picked up 110 Americas. Got 316 gems from Panel to Pawn. And I have Blind Justice? Hostages not rescued, 33. Listen, there's gonna, there's gonna be... There's gonna be some mistakes. Ever hear of acceptable losses? <laughs> Player 1 is great! What is with that weird Baraka face? You suck in this game. You shall never capture me. I am too good. In my advanced bio-nuclear factory, I will rule the world. Give up now and be eaten by my big purple friend. I'll not fight another boss. All Smash TV players should quit now and flee from this arcade machine. Fair enough. So this is Wacko. Uh, what country is this from? Uh, okay. Uh, just fighting Trogdors? Uh, I think I'm good.
B-17 Bomber. So I didn't even, I didn't even see the name of this. The code, the code. Figure out the code. What? It, uh, I'm I I'm the person on the the I'm blue guy. No, I'm yellow. Hold on. I actually don't know which one I am. I'm controlling them both. Okay, no, I'm I'm yellow. I think. Okay, we do this. How did Midway even get to where they were with these things in in their back catalog? Sometimes there's th there's a thing as being too much of a video game, you know. I, I, let's move on. This is Xenophobe. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, so use the thumb buttons to choose the character, Mr. Embrace. Embrace. There's a there's Howard the Duck. Try to clear the. Why is the the screen can't be like this. Oh no, it's like this. Why? Like we can't figure out how to put multiple sprites on a single screen. So we have to cut the screen in in threes. And this weird ET some bitch. Okay, maybe it's like a competition. Maybe all three of you are playing at the same time and trying to like who can clear the level the fastest. Something like that. I don't know. Whoa. Okay, nibbling on my dicky. That's fine. Ow! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay then. I'm I'm shocked why I've never heard of the Midway Classic Xenophobe. Get, didn't this might have gotten a port on the NES? I remember something uh, on the NES that was called Xeno something, and it had like um, on the front cover was literally a Xenomorph uh, from Alien. It was like like dark black, but it, it was it was basically that's what it was. I think that was Xenophobe. Please stop grabbing onto me. All you horrible things. Why are you guys like this? Okay, I'm, I'm just going through the rooms. I'm just brute forcing it. Oh my god, there's a self-destruct. Why do we even show up on this on this planet, this space station, whatever we are? Deep Space Nine over here. Oh, why is his face like that? Why is it gotta be like this? It's so bad. I just, I let, maybe I should just die so I can see what a game over looks like. What's with this sexy maximum male models pose? This might be the weirdest thing in the whole collection, I think. Press the left button to continue? No. No, I don't think I will. Zybots! I think it's our last game in the collection because it begins with X. Well, Xenophobe also did. Okay. Again, why is it doing this weird... Why was Bally Midway so obsessed with splitting the screen? Use arrows to find monsters. Okay, okay. All right. It's kind of like a behind-the-back third-person shooter. Going through mazes. Or it's like, you know, one of the every other stage in a Contra game. The scrolling is at least pretty smooth, I'll give it that, but this is probably the entire game, isn't it? It's just shooting cute little spacecrafts with my weird purple, big, big caked up dude, Spaceman. Entering level two, let's do it. Yeah, I can see lots of kids in the PS2, GameCube, Xbox area just going, Oh, Midway Arcade Church, they got Mortal Kombat! Play Mortal Kombat, Primal Rage! And then they ignore, like, all the other games. Well, maybe they play NARC at least. Because, you know that description I just did of kids just wanting to play the cool fighting games? I'm describing myself, if you didn't know. And it's whole Carnage is kind of a good time. But what? What? Why is Cyrax and Sector talking to me? Leave me alone. All right, well, you know, we should probably wrap it up. What do you got in the extras there? Ooh, a NARC trailer. Remember I made a joke earlier about there, there should be a NARC reboot? That's what I was alluding to. So yeah, kind of definitely a mixed bag. I, I certainly think there was uh, much more good th than bad in Midway Arcade Treasures 2. Uh, from what I remember, Midway Arcade Treasures 3, the three cool, it's had a lot of racing games. What sucks is that I remember Hydro Thunder being the Dreamcast port, not an actual arcade port, which is so, so lazy, but what can you do? But yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of Midway Arcade Treasures 2. Uh, if you'd like me to play the third one, perhaps, or if there's any other uh, collections we can do. That that finished off quickly. Let's look at MK Deception. Why not? No, this is all Baraka versus Molina, if I, re if I recall. I got I got so hyped when I first saw this trailer on, like, IGN, I think. Yeah, um, or if there's any other collections from other companies you'd like me to take a look at. Um, I'll see what I can do, and until then, I will see you next time in the Flophouse.